Yeah, the budget's expected to be about a billion dollars effectively total, but the fund that runs the city's day to day is expected to be up about 7% over last year. That comes as sales tax rebounds and our city recovers. Budget passes seven to two. The new budget approved by a new council today as they finally return to in-person meetings. The biggest conversation was about the police budget. Multiple people coming to speak to the council saying funds should be redirected. We're not having the right conversation. This year, the city has set aside $300,000 for mental health response programs in the department and a million dollars to focus on community policing, human rights and homelessness. Councilwoman Jo Beth Hammond voting no on the budget, saying it doesn't do enough to reform public safety. $300,000 is not a commitment to public safety for an alternate. Well, at this point, we don't even know what kind of crisis response for mental illness. Councilwoman Nikki Nice also voting no, saying one other issue is the lack of city oversight over a small business aid program. If we continue to say we want a one OKC, let's make a one OKC because we haven't quite yet gotten, haven't yet gotten there, but we can. Apart from public safety, the budget also restored fire department cuts, restores the mowing schedule in city parks, provides $750,000 for the First Americans Museum, and adds a bike lane maintenance crew. At City Hall, Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News.